again another question is uh, what is the height requirement for pilots so you are the tallest person <laughs> so <laughs> so what is the height required for pilot training so generally if you see any airline vacancy there is no requirement of height mentioned in that particular vacancy so few airlines mention the requirements few don't and uh, on an average if you see the general height requirement is 154 cm for most of the airlines but there is something called as cockpit assessment test for a particular aircraft so let's say if someone is flying a320 so there is a cockpit assessment test for that person to be able to reach the all the flight controls and operate the flight safely so a person can take that test and then they can uh, go okay. for the type rating or let's say if they are flying the Cessna so there is a cockpit assessment test for that as well so there's nowhere written that you need 150 centimeter 154 centimeter mm -hmm. it all depends upon the airline to be honest okay. yeah okay. also it's like uh, cockpit assessment test is basically being able to reach all the controls that there are and all the switches and buttons and push buttons whatever that that mm -hmm. are there the point is few pilots actually or even 150, 152 centimeters also. Mm -hmm. Now, how and they have done it, I don't know, but some get accepted that way as well. Unless there mm -hmm. is, I believe, a specific requirement mentioned by the airline, mm -hmm. such as 160 centimeters, then yeah. So it it's dependent on uh, yeah. various criteria so because of the airplane is different mm -hmm. for that particular mm -hmm. air, uh, airline so okay. that's the reason why mm -hmm. they might put that mm -hmm. criteria but uh, generally on narrow body airplanes the seats are quite ergonomic and uh, you can adjust seats in order to reach controls with average height of uh, pilots but anything above 150 is okay yeah, A320 okay. has electronically operated seats, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just moves with a motor noise. <laughs> <laughs> then a uh, very important one is you need to know that you don't have any medical condition as such. Medical condition in a sense, certain things like, for example, color mm -hmm. blindness, which is very, you know, a few students after they enroll and then they find out in their class 2 mm -hmm. medical that there is partial color blindness so in that mm -hmm. case then they have to drop out from this career so it is very much required that you know that you are, don't have any medical condition mm -hmm. if you're not sure about it then it's mm -hmm.